Hey, good evening. How are you? Good evening. Hi, teacher. Hi, guys. Good evening. Good evening. How was your day? What did you guys do today? I was made make the exam. The exam. <laughs> hey, that's great. You completed the exam. No, no. Uh, only four of them. Ah, but you are advancing. That is <laughs> little by little, and then you are more relaxed. Yes. <laughs> only I understand some things. Mm -hmm. I. Yes, I did. I did understand something in the exam, but I, but I, at the end, I made very well. But I don't know. I'm not sure why. Okay, so some parts were a little difficult, Aida. Yes, because there are so many answers that could be possible. <laughs> yes. And I I was looking for what was are what were the better because for me they are was tenía varias posibles yeah oh, okay okay yeah and that makes it more difficult but in the end you did a good job Aida did yes you, yes ten. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> yes. I have 84% in this moment. That's wonderful. That's yeah. wonderful. Mm -hmm. okay. The idea, little by little, we advance and you get, you do it. And that's fine. You're going to complete all of it by the weekend and then no stress. Yes, thanks. I hope so. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, thank you guys for coming. Thank you for being on time. I know sometimes it's difficult. So thank you very much. Today, we're going to be looking at and reviewing units one and unit two. This is the objective to review unit one and unit two. How are we going to do it? Well, we're going to do it with our partner in the following way. Let me show you my screen so that we can understand each other okay so here we are in the platform pre-intermediate module three and we are going to the objective is to complete one and two we don't have to do the exercises because we already completed them we only want to review the exercises how are we going to review well you click on the link and then all of the ones that are the videos we want to make sure that with our partners, we understand. So as an example, in 1.1, we have, it's a fairly big city. Now, do you have to watch all of the video? No, it's not necessary to watch all That's of That's a really nice city. Yeah, it is. Only, for example, I put the video with my partner, and then we, with my partner, we practice the conversation. Imagine my partner is Aida. So Aida is going to be Carmen, I'm going to be Eric we are going to read it. Then Aida and I, we discussed, Aida, I, I don't remember what is expensive or Aida, I don't remember what is reasonable or maybe Aida asked me and we want to check the vocabulary, right? Right. Then after we check, then we practice one more time. Then Aida is going to be Eric and now I'm going to be Carmen. And then that's, we finish. That's the video one. Then we go to the next video. The next video doesn't have a conversation. The next video is about a- Remember to use the following. Okay. So only is necessary with my partner, my partner Aida, ah, Aida. Do you remember how to use these adjectives? Okay, then, or these adverbs? Okay. So then Aida used the word extremely in the sentence. I used the word very. Aida used really, I used pretty. and. The idea is to use them in a sentence, not only, ah, si, si, ya sé, ya me acuerdo que es, eh, 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 es muy, muy. No, 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 you want to use it. You want to make sure that it's clear and that you can use it in a sentence. 
That's how we review. Okay. Okay. Are there any questions how we're going to review? No. Not teacher. Okay. All right. So what are we going to do? One more time. With our partners, we are going to review in this moment. You need with our partners, we have 15 minutes. In 15 minutes, we have the opportunity to read, practice the conversations, discuss the vocabulary, look at the grammar, use the grammar or the vocabulary, and make our own sentences. It's okay? Yes, it's okay. All right, guys. Perfect. So then with our partners, Unit one, let's begin. Hi, in this video, we will teach you how to use adverbs before adjectives. Let's go over the following chart. We'll circle the adverb and underline the adjective to help you identify each. Let's pay attention and don't go as we'll explain the usage as soon as we listen to the audio program. Adverbs before adjectives. San Juan is really nice. It's a really nice city. It's fairly big. It's a fairly big city. It's not very expensive. It's not a very expensive place. It's too noisy and it's too crowded for me. Let's start. An adverb can modify an adjective, giving more emphasis to it. Let's work with the adverb very and put it in a sentence. Her car is very expensive. My brother is very tall. Remember, very is the adverb and expensive is the adjective. So if you want to make a strong statement, you may add an adverb. It is not the same to say her car is expensive than to say her car is very expensive. Now let's talk about this chart. Notice they're organized from the most to the least. We also have the adverb too, which means more than you want, so we usually use it with a negative adjective. Read the following sentence. This dress is too big for me, meaning the dress won't fit me. Now that you have listened to the explanation and the audio program, I want you to make sentences using the adverbs presented in the small chart. Please write them on our discussion box. Write one sentence for each adverb. Remember to use the following structure. X plus is plus adverb plus adjective. Good luck.
goes in the middle of a sentence and a comma goes before hi nice to see you again this time we'll talk about conjunctions we'll talk about and but though and however after the explanation we want you to practice so please stay with us conjunctions it's an exciting city and the weather is nice it's a big city, but it's not too big. It's a big city. It's not too big, though. It's a big city. It's not too big, however. We use AND to connect two positive or two negative ideas. For example, the city's ugly and small. Canada is a big country and very clean. Notice there are two ideas in each sentence which are joined by the conjunction AND. Therefore, we can give more or extra information. Did you notice which punctuation goes before AND? That's right, a comma. Let's talk about the conjunction BUT. This one connects a positive idea with a negative one, and it goes in the middle of a sentence, and a comma goes before the conjunction as well. Follow me in these examples. The park is clean, but it is very small. The food is good, but it is very expensive. We have two conjunctions left, though and however. These two conjunctions are also used to connect a positive idea with a negative one, but they go at the end of the sentence. Take a look. It's a big city. It's not too crowded, though. He's really good looking. He's not nice, however. Can you write one sentence using though and another one using and? Do it in our discussion box. You may follow our examples as a guide. Hi, I want you to listen to this conversation and try to identify the modal verbs which are being introduced in this audio program. Also, it is recommended for you to practice this conversation with someone else. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure I can. What would you like to know? Well, what's a good time to visit? I think you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what should I see there? Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Arts. And what else? Oh, you shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. It's very interesting. It all sounds really exciting. Did you notice? There's no change on should. You have already listened to a conversation where can and should were introduced. Those are called modal verbs. Modal verbs show a speaker's attitude or mood. We can also use them to ask for and give advice. Stay with us as we will explain them. Modal verbs can and should. What can I do in Mexico City? You can see the Palace of Fine Arts. You can't visit some museums on Mondays. What should I see there? You should visit the National Museum. You shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. Okay, we'll talk about the modal verbs can and should. This is how we'll use it in a question. WH question word plus modal verb plus subject plus verb, plus question mark. Where should we go? And this is how we use it in a positive sentence. Subject, plus modal verb, plus verb, plus complement. We should go to a museum. This is how we use it in a negative sentence. 
subject plus modal verb plus not plus verb plus complement. We shouldn't go to a museum. It is important to notice that models do not take a final S and neither does the main verb. He should go to a museum. Maria shouldn't drink. Did you notice? There's no change on should and neither on the main verb go. Okay, Roxana and Hector, do you guys have any questions about the review for unit one, about those topics that we saw? Good evening, teacher. Yes, I I don't understand um, when when use can, could, and may in okay. in what a uh, what conversation is is the is um is uh same i think it's same but i don't when use okay well there this, this is previous previous class yes no problem no problem Roxy. uh the idea is that we use can when we're talking about a permission or sorry a, a, like a request or an ability so you can say can i to the party right that is you are you are making the request you, you you are asking for the permission to go to the party the other form to use can is for ability for example i can drive a car that's the ability could is similar but is used for the past tense could can be a formal way could i uh or i could drive a car this is in the past okay okay in in may may is similar to the word maybe so maybe i go to the party so i can say i may go to the party this weekend we do yeah, yeah. in the form that we use maybe like a possibility Okay, thank you, Tisha. You're welcome. So remember, can, present, could, past, and may is for a possibility, like maybe. Okay, okay. Can, could, is, is past, and may. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now understand. Okay, good. Hector, Oscar, do you guys have any questions? Yes, hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Oscar. Um, good evening. In the lesson number, what is the lesson in right now, teacher? Uh, we are reviewing right now. We are reviewing unit one. So I'll, I'll share my screen one more time so to make sure that it's clear. Okay. So we are looking at here, this, the section one, we looked at the videos um, with our partners. We practiced the conversations and made sure that everything was uh, the vocabulary we understand and it's clear. And then with the grammar, we made sure that we can use the grammar in sentences. So. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Teacher, uh, yes. I have uh, a question. Okay. When when finish the class? Um, on Tuesday. This. Ah, okay. In in this in this week, uh, we we finish uh, finish the the platform. Uh, yes, the idea is uh, tomorrow we review unit three and four, and then 
you can do the exam Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, and then we have class Monday and Tuesday, and we are finished. Uh, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. But the, the idea that we finish the activities and today and tomorrow is the review is so that Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, you can do the exam, relax. Maybe section one on Friday, maybe section two and three on Saturday, but, but that way you don't have the stress. That way you can do it without a problem. That is the idea for having the time and to be able to review. Uh, okay, uh, on, on Monday, uh, only review, we'll review. Uh, no, no, no. On Monday, we have different activities because Monday we, we already finished the exam and we already finished all the activities. So Monday is going to be a little bit different because the idea is only Monday is only is necessary to review the exam if you had difficulty or some you had a, a problem that you couldn't do. Then we can we we do it. Mm -hmm. That's um, you you preview unit right now. Difference yes. right now we okay. are reviewing unit one. We we finished unit one, but in now I'm going to answer the questions for people for unit one. Then we review unit two, and I answer the questions of unit two, and then that's it. And then tomorrow unit three and unit four, and then we can do the exam. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome, Roxana. Does anybody have any questions for unit one? Um, maybe vocabulary, modals, the can, the, 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 the different things that we saw, uh, the conjunctions, okay? How to use the modal verbs, can or should, I don't know. The, teacher, I, mm -hmm. I, I have a, uh, two problems in... Um, 2.6. Okay, in 2.6. Yes, in number one. Okay, okay. What 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 is the problem? Um, my answer. Uh, the question is, what show I do for a sword thrust? Mm -hmm. And it's important to drink. Uh, uh, I just uh, to box. In the, Para poner las respuestas, the box. Yeah. Y yo puse en las dos to drink y son vitamina C, no sé. Le puse de varias formas y siempre me parece mal. <laughs> okay, all right. But why don't you share the screen? Because I think we did that one in class, but let's check. Let's see what you put. Okay. That way it's clear for us what, what you are talking about. So go ahead, sh share your screen so that we can see. Teacher, we didn't enough chop up. Sorry? What the meaning of chop up? Mm. Is it C H O P I? O O O Chop up. Right. C A. OP, correct? Yes. Yes. It's like, it's like when you prepare the food. When you prepare the food, you need to cut the vegetables. You need to cut the potato or cut the carrot. This is chopped. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I, I think it was... I forgot who was speaking, but they were, you were going to show, share the screen for exercise two. No. Hello, teacher. Oscar, you were, were you going to share the screen? No. No. Pause disable. Ah, 
Uh, let me see what happened. Let's see, video settings. Um, give me a second, I don't know why. Check again, Oscar. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay, what should I do for a saw through? It's important. Why is two box, teacher? To take. Yeah, in, in the box, in box is to take, to take some vitamin C. Yes, Oscar Jay. didn't. Yes, Oscar, you didn't come to class that day, huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. And you didn't watch the video because we answered the question. <laughs> we this one we put because this was the mistake that they had. You had to put two times. To take, to take from is drink is vitamin C. Drink. You don't. So. Drink. You don't drink vitamin. <laughs> So what is the take and this one? Some. The same. Take some. I don't understand. Uh, this one is to take. And the, other and the other to take some. To take two. To take two. To take two some. No, no, no. No, That's only to take. In the boat. In, uh -huh, in both, in ambas, is to take. Oh. No. To take some. To take some. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, I don't understand. <laughs> so I don't, no, no entendí por qué, la verdad. No, no, no. no. It's, that, it's only supposed to have one, but you can have to take vitamin C or to take some vitamin C. That's why they have the two boxes. The two answers are correct. Uh, um, okay. Mm -hmm. You have the two forms to say it. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, You're welcome. Thank you bro. Gracias a todos. Hey, that's everybody is good working teams. Okay, any other questions for unit one? Uh, anybody have any other questions? Okay, then now we're going to review unit two. Unit two in the same way, right? You watch the videos, make sure that you practice the conversation and understand the grammar. And then we come back and we make sure that it's clear for everyone. Okay. Yes? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. All right, let's go.
on our discussion box, I want you Hello everyone, welcome to this section. In this class, we will go over some words related to health problems. I want you to listen and repeat. A headache, a backache, sore muscles, stomachache, a cold, a cough, the flu, insomnia. On our discussion box, I want you to write a health problem you have had recently. Just chop up a whole head of garlic and cook it in chicken stock. Hello, welcome back. Now that we have gone over health-related words, we're ready to listen to them in context. Also, pay attention to suggestions given when we get sick. Hi, Craig. How are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. And have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Just chop up a whole head of garlic and cook it in chicken stock. Try it. It really works. Yuck. That sounds awful. To drink lots of water. It's a good idea. Hi, in this session, infinitive complements will be taught. Infinitive complements are used to ask and give advice. I will give you a quick example right now. What should I do for a cold? It's a good idea to take some vitamin C. And stay with us and join the explanation after the audio program. Infinitive complements. What should you do for a cold? It's important to get a lot of rest. It's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. It's a good idea to take some vitamin C. Remember when we talk about infinitives, we refer to a verb with no conjugation. So notice that we use to plus verb within our suggestions or advice. So if you want to give an advice to someone, you should do it this way. It is helpful to go to the doctor. It is important to drink lots of water. It's a good idea to take cough drops. What do you suggest for dry skin? Try some of this. Hi, ready to begin? In the conversation we're about to listen to, we will introduce modal verbs for suggestions and requests. Please practice the conversation with a classmate or a friend, as it is important to repeat for better understanding. Listen and practice. Hi, may I help you? Yes, please. Could I have something for a cough? I think I'm getting a cold. Well, I suggest a box of these cough drops. Thank you. And what do you suggest for dry skin? Try some of this new lotion. It's very good. Okay. And one more thing. My husband has no energy these days. Can you suggest anything? He should try some of these multivitamins. They're excellent. Great. May I have three large bottles, please? Hello everyone, this time we will be introduced to the modal verbs can, could, may for suggestions and requests. Modal verbs can, could, may for requests, suggestions. Can I help you? May I help you? Can I have a box of cough drops? Could I have something for a cough? May I have a bottle of aspirin? What do you suggest for dry skin? 
What do you have for dry skin? Try some of this lotion. I suggest some ointment. You should get some skin cream. In this case, can, could, and may are being used in question form to suggest or give advice. This is how we use them. Model verb plus subject plus verb have plus complement plus question mark. Can I have eye drops? May I have an ointment? Could I have some aspirins? What I want you to do now is to write a sentence using each modal verb learned. Please write them in our discussion box. Norma, do you have any questions about the unit two? Any things that are not clear? Repeat, teacher. Do you have any questions about unit, any of the topics from the videos that are not clear? Quizás el de este que acaba de pasar usted, el can, may, y el que acaba de pasar en ese sitio, un poquito de duda. Okay, one moment. Let's take a look. Let's make sure. Okay. In this one, can, could, may for request. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's watch it one more and I'll answer. Hello everyone. This time we will be introduced to the model verbs can, could, may for suggestions and requests. Modal verbs can, could, may for requests. Suggestions. Can I help you? May I help you? Can I have a box of cough drops? Could I have something for a cough? May I have a bottle of aspirin? Okay. Here, all of them are the same idea. They are in this moment for request. Can I, could I, may I? Is the same, the same idea. Only from, the idea is for how you, which ones you want to use. You see, is the same structure. Can I have? Could I have, may I have, is the model and the verb in present, okay? So when you want something, you ask for it. You ask by using can, could, or may. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. Let's watch the rest. What do you suggest for dry skin? What do you have for dry skin? Try some of this lotion. I suggest some ointment. You should get some skin cream. In this case, can, could, and may are being used in question form to suggest or give advice. Can you hear? Can, could, and may in question form to suggest or give advice. So I want something, so I can use can, could or may to get the information. This is how we use them. Mod so remember how it's going to be can, could or may, the person, I, you, we, and then the verb, okay? In this case, we're using the verb have, okay? Can I have, and then the compliment. Can I have eye drops? Can I have some, uh, some food? Can I... May I have some soda? The different things. Model verb. Okay, teacher. Plus subject plus okay. verb have plus complement plus question mark. Can I have eye drops? May I have an ointment? Could I have some aspirins? What I want you to do now is to write a sentence using each model. Okay. So the three models is for the same idea. Okay, so Norma, I'm going to put you in a group. That way you can practice with your partners and make sure that it's clear. Okay. Okay.
Hello everyone, welcome to this section. In this class, we will go over some words related to health problems. I want you to listen and repeat. A headache, a backache, sore muscles, a stomachache, a cold, a cough, the flu, insomnia. On our discussion box, I want you to write a health problem you have had recently. Okay, guys, so let's take a look. We were looking at unit two. We have quite a lot of things like may, could, might. Maybe that was the part that was maybe a little bit more complicated or difficult, right? Um, when we use those words, okay? So remember, the idea is the same. You can use any of the words to make the request. It's only all the structure is the same. May I? have some food? Can I have some food? Could I have some food? Is the same idea, okay? Only different ways to make the request. Were there any questions about unit two, anything you didn't understand or anything that is not clear? Hi, teacher. When, when it is user, the three, when you ask for something, so if you go to a restaurant or if you go to a store, you don't say I want, you don't say I want soda. You say, may I have soda? Can I have soda? Or could I have soda? Uh, what, uh, los tres igual, los tres. Yes, yes, yes. The, in, uh -huh. in conversation, yes. In conversation, it's the same idea. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I have a question, teacher. Yes, Aida. In that conversation, when the waiters ask, would you like anything else? And my answer is, no, thank you. That will be all. Mm -hmm. I think, and I, I see the correct is, I will all. Oh, only can you write co with contraction. That apostrophe double L, be all. Correct. But, but, but in the exam, I'm sorry, but in the exam, I put it in that way. That is not correct. Oh, hasta la, the last option that I write was that will be all. Why will in the conversation? Because in the conversation is will. That will be all. But in the exam, the right answer is that will be all. I don't understand why. I don't know which part of the exam, but if if the person is speaking, then it's correct to say that will be all. Mm. It's only it's normally only if you are the waitress, 
the, the waiter or the waitress would then you ask the customer because you are being polite you say would that be all but if you the customer you say no no more i'm finished ah that will be all when when i the customer is that will be all and when I, when i the 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 the, the waiter the waiter it's that will be all yes because you are asking uh-huh oh, okay Okay. It, it's similar. To, it's similar to to the Spanish, right? Eso es todo y algo más. That's the the will and the word. That's the I. Uh huh. Ah, okay. Thank you. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. I, I'm not sure in, in the exam why they have it in the different form, but that that's why it, that that's the ah. main idea. That's the main idea for the difference. Uh mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else, any other questions? Or for vocabulary, it's okay? Yeah, I like it. That means Reina, a 10 on the exam. Rene, a 10 on the exam. Edwin, 11 on the exam. That's what I like. No questions is perfect scores. Good. Well, if that if we have good ideas, so let's review. Let me share my screen with you, and let's make sure that we have all of the things that we want to talk about. Okay, let's start off here. Okay, here this part was just a vocabulary, right? Really, more than anything, just making sure that we remember all of the different forms for our health. They went one one. Yeah. Okay. It's okay, all of the health problems. Do you understand all of them? Yes, this one, yes. Okay, only let's listen to the pronunciation. Remember, it's headache. 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 No, 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 no H, no H. Headache. Headache. Correct. Ache. Ache. Remember, no ache. Mm -hmm. The same. Backache. 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 Sore muscles. Sore muscles. Sore muscles. Sore muscles. Stomachache. A stomach ache. Stomach ache. Good. A cold. A cold. A cold. A cough. A cough. A cough. A cough. The flu. The flu. The flu. Insomnia. Insomnia. Okay. Good. So all of those health problems are clear. Similar here. I think it was. Hello, welcome back. Now that we have gone over health, you should be at home in bed. Okay. Here, were there any questions about the vocabulary uh, from the conversation? Uh, teacher, oh, sure. one, one question. Mm -hmm. el, en la última oración, la última palabra. Awful. Awful, asco. Awful. Mm -hmm. Horrible. Horrible. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, for as if no all awful 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 correct awful any other words garlic helpful garlic the pronunciation huh? garlic garlic mm -hmm. Garlic. That's right. Joke. Chop up. Pizza. The sentence have you taken taken anything for it? Mm -hmm. can, <clears throat> what can I what what can I say? But I don't understand how you write 
you can change the verb take for another verbs. Um, because that yeah. verb in is in what um taken. Pasado participio. Ah, está en pasado participio. Ah, the word is it's not, it's the complement, right? It's a uh -huh, because you use have, and when you use have or has, you need the verb in the past participle. Have, 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 have. Okay. Is that, Aida, is that okay? When you use have and had, you, you use past participle. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Have you mm -hmm. Thank you. Any other questions? Any other words? No? Okay. Let's take a look at the next one. Here were the complements, right? The infinitive complements. In this section, infinitive compliments. Okay. So here turn is off. turn off yes. microphone, please. Okay. So I don't. I'm not sure who has it, but let's take a look. Okay. All right, so here the infinitive complement is give your opinion and then use two. It's important, it's good, it's bad, it's nice, it's helpful. It's a, a whatever your opinion is and then you use two. So it's important to study for the exam. It's a good idea to review uh, the material, okay? It's helpful, okay, to ask questions. This is the idea. It's okay with compliments. It's not that you are saying good things. It's only how to make is first your opinion. It's important, it's special, it's nice. And then the verb with infinitive to and the verb. This we use, we use it to give our opinion. So I say, hey, what should I do for a cold? Uh, how should I make pupusas? What is a good way to, uh, or, or what is a nice place to buy pizza? Ah, okay. And then you give your opinion. Ah, it's a good idea to, uh, to go to Little Caesars to save money. It's nice or it's important to find a restaurant you like. So this is when we give our opinions on how something is. Teacher. Yes? If I change what is correct to say, what do you do for a cold? What do you do for a cold? Yes. It's correct. The, the, the sentence is different meaning, but the, or the question is a different meaning, but it is correct. Have that problem because it was so difficult to answer the question in the exam because I think I don't understand the right me the right the correct meaning for that's the example that I que le acabo de dar that's that's the that's the, that's the perfect example I, I don't know how in the in the in the difficult it. so what do you do for code is Jew. You, Aida, as the person, not recommend, but what are the things that you do? Do you take medicine? Do you go to sleep? What do you do? Okay. I, mm -hmm. have, to, I have to understand the meaning, right, to answer. Yes, it's to, different than what should you do for a cold. What did you do? This is your recommendation, but not that you do but this is what you think is a good way to do it. Okay, thank you. 
You're welcome. Okay. The next part was the suggestions, okay? How Hi, ready to begin? In the conversation we're about to listen to, we will introduce... Really, it's using the ones like the compliments, right? Like the one we just learned. Ah, it's important too. It's good too, okay? All about what to give as a suggestion. Are there any words you, you didn't understand? That's it. I'm sorry, what, which word? Multivitamins. 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 Okay. Okay. So no questions for the vocabulary? No. Each other fit the multi. Yes. Multi vitamins. Multi vitamins. Multi vitamins. Multi vitamins. Okay. Good. And then the last video was this one. When we use can, could, and may. Remember, it's the same idea. Okay. Can I help you? If you change May I the help question, you? it's the same. I can change the question. Could I have a box of cough drops? I can change the questions. May I have a box of cough drops? Or I can change. Can I have something for a cough? May I have something for a cough? It's only a request. You use a request. That means you want something. You are asking for something. And you use can, could, or may, and then can I have, could I have, may I have? And you can change the verb. Can I get, or could I get, may I get? It's possible to use other verbs. It's not only this verb, but the important is that these are all for when you are asking for something. It's okay, the, the models for request? Sure. Yes? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, great. Excellent. Yes. Now we review unit one and two. Tomorrow we're going to review unit three and four, and then you are prepared for the exam. Okay. Okay, guys. Have a great night, and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, teacher. Okay, Thank you. Nice to Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. God bless. Good night. God bless. Good night.